is good to it's your boy Sam back here with another video and in this video today guys we're going to be talking about how you guys can get a free Cerebro Deluxe Pack in NBA 2K24 my team. Now I do want to say out of this Deluxe Pack you're probably not going to pull anything crazy you're probably going to pull a pink diamond. But there is a chance to pull a Galaxy Opal. And if you do pull a Galaxy Opal, I think Dwight is really good. I also think Amen Thompson is really, really solid. So I do think it's probably worth your time uh, to go and grind this deluxe pack out. And we're going to be talking about how hard it is to do. And, and again, whether it's worth it for you guys or not. Now, to start with, okay, deluxe pack all along the way, you're going to get this Cerebro Spotlight Challenge done as well. Now, at the time I'm recording this, it's been three minutes since uh, the content has loaded in the game. For the Spotlight Challenges, sometimes they take up to like seven, eight, nine minutes to load into the game. So again, if they're not in the game yet, we'll probably touch on them at the end of the video. But the Spotlight Challenges are basically always the same. It's going to take you around 30 minutes to do, probably. Uh, and you do get a free base pack as well as a normal Cerebral pack from those as as well so you got to complete the spotlight probably gonna take you 30 minutes or so to do make 33s over multiple triple threat games should be easy to do what i would try to do is combine that with power forward uh assist so as you are grinding out your threes uh with uh with anybody get assist with power forward so what i would do is i would come in here and and throw in two gold power forward that's what i would do and then no matter who you pass it from whether it's show swift or uh medvin whatever this guy's name is pass it to glenn rice knock down a three you can knock out both of those things or at least chip away at the power forward assist as you are knocking down threes kind of same thing score 100 points at clutch time offline games as you're doing that get assists with power forwards meanwhile get rebounds with small forwards so on that same train of thought you do want power forwards to get these assists but since you want rebounds with small forwards what i would try doing is use a guy that has power forward and small forward eligibility use a guy like josh smith maybe scalabrini anybody that is a small forward that way any rebound you get with this lineup you are going to make strides. Same thing when you go in and have your clutch time lineup. Probably have Glenn Rice at your shooting guard position. Try to run a point guard. Is there any point guard that has small forward eligibility as well? I'd try to, you know, make it work. Whether whether you can or not, I don't know. But I would try to maybe uh, make that happen as somehow, some way, get a uh, point guard here with small forward eligibility. If not, no worries. Just run a gold point guard. But then at your three and four, run guys that have both the shoot, uh, small forward as well as power forward el eligibility. So maybe you run Terry maybe you want a guy like Dennis Rodman and then a gold uh, a, a gold uh, center that has power forward eligibility uh, eligibility and then again any rebound you do get with Rodman or Terry or Glenn is going to uh is going to go towards that rebounding and then on the other side when you do go into triple threat offline get assists with Terry or Dennis Rodman throw them over to Glenn Rice and you can really knock those things out to me these, these are some of the easier challenges you can have to get a free deluxe pack again super easy the defensive rebounds with small forwards is probably going to be the thing that takes you the longest time but again as you do it you uh, can see even in the spotlight challenges I do the same thing so your first spotlight challenge is probably going to be you win the game 250 points well in that spotlight challenge i'm using the same triple threat team maybe obviously uh better cards not gold cards because again it doesn't really matter what overalls you go in there with but for this first challenge for example win the game to 15 points well guess what i'm gonna go in there with two power forwards small forwards and guess what i'm gonna get assists with these guys rebounds with these guys and knock out this game to 15 points again this is just a small step in the right direction for a free deluxe pack but these are the things that are going to add up as you go through it. One thing I am noticing in these challenges for this free deluxe pack or these agendas for the free pack is there's no, you know, in online games. There's no in unlimited. So no matter what game mode you play, you can make strides in that right direction. Again, Glenn Rice, three to start it off. Get in power forward assists. I thought I was already at a, a couple of them, but maybe, I, maybe oh no, I, I haven't had any of those done. But as I do go through this thing, get rebounds, uh, things are going to add up. And, and, you know, before you know it, everything's going to be done. The spotlight's going to be done. The challenges are going to be done. Everything is going to be done. So realistically, within an hour, you can complete the spotlight challenges, get a normal, you know, pack. You're going to complete the spotlight challenges. You're going to get a deluxe pack. And, and, and at the same time, you're going to get some MT for grinding these things out. You're going to get some XP if you don't have, uh, obviously, SGA yet. 
And then you just gotta hope the pack odds are in your favor and you can pull a Galaxy Opal or, 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 or so. So that's kind of the way I'm approaching these things. It isn't a long grind. It actually is a super easy grind the way I'm looking at this. And again, you can save yourself some MT, save yourself some BC. Uh, if you do want to, you know, get your pack, pack craving or whatever, you can get a free deluxe pack here and uh and go from there so one game down here in uh in, in this spotlight challenge obviously a long way to go but i do want to show you guys just in this one game everything we got done because obviously again i got three more challenges to complete a lot more things to get done but just in that one game and one game alone i got my slasher deluxe pack and then when we go in here to the agendas look at the things i've already getting done here i'm at five out of 50 assists i'm at uh I i'm at Five out of 50 defensive rebounds, which does obviously matter. Now, again, the three-pointers do have to come in triple threat games, so those really don't matter a ton. But those are the things I'm starting to really work on. And again, grinding out this spotlight challenge is going to take a little bit of time, but be really easy to do. Okay, you do get a base pack there, and with the last challenge, you do get another base pack. And completing the whole group, you're going to get a normal cerebral pack. So you just got to hope kind of the pack odds are on your side. Another game, win the game to 21 by four points or more. Guess what? In this game, I'm doing the exact same thing here, right? Exact same thing. You're gonna get some rebounds with small forwards, assists with power forwards, and all I gotta do is win the game by four points or more. And if I do this, I'll have two out of the four challenges done. And again, really uh, making some good strides on this grind. Because for me, I do want to eventually, uh, hopefully do a gameplay of a man Thompson. I do wanna do a gameplay of the uh, of the Dwight Howard. So hopefully if I grind these things out, I can pull one of those two cards. I probably won't, but you know, there is a chance you can pull one of those two cards. And if I do, that's when I really will be moving and grooving. So that's kind of the goal and the reason I'm really focused on getting this grind done because I think the Galaxy Opals and Amon Thompson and Dwight Howard are absolutely fantastic. And even if you don't pull the Dark Matters today, I think it's fine. I think it's okay. I think there are a lot of other really solid things to look at today. So that's just kind of the way I go about thinking of, uh, of, of these types of things. These challenges are relatively easy to do. We'll see what that last challenge is ultimately like. But normally, again, these spotlight challenges, even if you aren't good at the game, you can get them done within 30 minutes or so. Like they are relatively easy to do. Supposedly on 2K Database, it looked like Donovan Mitchell was unsellable, but I don't see a way right now in which, you know, you do get a, a free Donovan Mitchell. So that is kind of a down for today because it looked like there was a chance for a free donovan mitchell but obviously i don't think that is going to be the case today but you guys are seeing kind of the success i'm having right now i mean even even again this is my second uh, spotlight game getting rebounds i've got what four rebounds in this game i've got what four uh, i got five assists right now as well so just slowly grinding this is going to make a, a a big you know uh, it's it's going to matter in the long run right it might not seem like i'm getting that much done right now but it's gonna matter in the long run because once I complete this spotlight challenge, I'm really not gonna have too much more to grind out. So this is, you know, one way to go about doing that, uh, doing the spotlight challenge, combining it with the free pack uh, in the agendas, and just kind of, you know, make, making the most of your time. That's one thing I always want to tell you guys or help you guys do is maximize your time. So combo up the the small forward, power forward, assists, and rebounds. You do that. Again, you can do it in any game mode. You combine that with, uh, you know, the 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 the, 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 the uh, spotlight grind. You're gonna knock this thing out before you know it. And even for me, right? I played, you know, for just a little bit. I'm already at 12 assists with power forwards, nine uh, defensive rebounds with small forwards. Gonna get a lot of those done in the spotlight challenge. Then I'll go into triple threat uh, offline games, knock down some more three pointers, then score in clutch time offline. Win with 13 players. Then I'll have my free pack. Then after that. We'll have to see uh, what else I need. I do got a base pack to end our episode today. Obviously, again, probably not going to pull anything. Not super optimistic about it, but it is a base pack. There always is a chance for something special to come of that. That's going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the new free agenda in NBA 2K24. My team, drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.